Hello and welcome to day two. We are doing a quads and glutes workout. I'm so proud of you for showing up. It's going to be so much fun. We're starting off with set one, three different exercises. There'll be four different sets in this workout and we'll do them as groups. So the first exercise will be the Bulgarian split squats, doing 10 each leg. Then we're moving on to hip thrusts. 10 reps of those, so counting them out so you can go at your own pace. And the third move in this first set are some up-downs. We'll be doing 10 of those. I love this little change up in the workout format. So we'll be doing a six minute timer on the clock. We'll be doing those exercises continuously for six minutes, going at your own pace, but keeping good form and go. So starting off with the Bulgarian split squat, so I want you to do 10 reps on each leg. Don't worry about keeping up with me. As I said, this is at your own pace. Um, so yeah, just watch your technique and really be intentional about it. So when you're doing these, I want you to keep the weight of the body through the heel of the front leg that's in front. Uh, drop the body down, keeping the core engaged, keeping a nice and neutral spine. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads. Resting that foot up on a raised surface, not too far behind you, so that you're not too tempted to overarch your lower back. Once you've done 10 reps on each leg, you're then gonna move on to hip thrust. For this movement, you wanna be up on a bench or a chair or just a stable platform. And I want you to lift up the hips, squeezing the glutes with the feet placed round about hip width apart, toes pointing slightly outwards, looking straight ahead of you. So really intentionally squeezing the glutes when you do that movement. Once you've done 10 quality hip thrusts, move on to some up down. So you're going from the kneeling position to a low squat, keeping the chest nice and high, weight through the heels, core is engaged, but also making sure that those hips stay low. I want you to alternate which leg leads you up first each time so that you get an even workout on both sides. Now those are the three exercises, so I'm gonna stop talking at you and let you really focus and get into it. Give it your all, really go for it. You've got this.
done. You've completed the first set. You did an amazing job. Moving on to set two, we've got three new exercises, starting off with hip raise first. So we'll be doing 20 reps of those, counting them out as you go. Nice little lie down for you. Don't say I don't treat you. And then the second exercise we're doing will be some reverse glute raises. Now this is basically in a napping position, um, but it's a good one, really good for the glutes. And the third exercise we've got will be some classic donkey kicks. Ready to go? And go for it. Starting off with the hip raises, 20 reps of these. So with these, I want your feet round about hip width apart. Um, Engaging the core, keeping the core nice and tight, okay? So I don't want you arching your lower back as though you're sticking out your bottom. No, I want you to squeeze the core so it's engaged, hips locked in. And then we're gonna squeeze the glutes to lift those hips up off the mat until the hips are in something of a straight line with the knees and the shoulder. So it's like straight line from knee through to hip through to shoulder when you're at the top of that movement. As you can see, I'm using my hands as a guiding point to aim my hip towards. This is a really targeted movement that uses the glutes. Um, and then once you've done 20 reps of those, remember no rush, you're going at your own pace. We're then going to move on to some reverse glute raises so lifting up the leg so i want you to find whatever position is comfortable for you engage your core and then squeeze the glutes to lift those legs up off the floor and i don't just mean the lower legs i mean the thighs too i want you to really peel those up off the floor feeling the stretch in the front of the quads as well engaging the glutes really intentionally so doing 20 reps of those Once you've done those reps, again, no rush, we're moving on to donkey kicks. So 20 on each leg. Now it's really important when you do this move to make sure it is only your leg that is moving. So I want you to squeeze your core, keep it nice and engaged, hands below shoulders, knee below hip, and try and make it so that your back is not moving. Your back is staying nice and still, you're not arching. Uh, you're just lifting up that leg by squeezing the glute, keeping both shoulders facing the mat evenly, okay? I know it's tempting to tip to one side, but really squeeze the core and try and keep your balance as you do this move. 20 on each leg. I'm gonna stop talking to you now and telling you the technique, you know the technique, you've got this, I want you to really go for it, making sure that every movement that you do is quality because you're quality and you deserve the best. So really go for it and push yourself, you've got this.
Well done, you absolutely smashed it. Moving on now to set three, we've got three brand new exercises to challenge you. Starting off with the curtsy lunge. So we'll be doing 10 on each leg, 10 reps of these on each leg, counting them through at your own pace before moving on to exercise number two of set three, which is the wide leg squat. Keeping good form, love this movement. Such a classic, such a staple in my personal workout routine. And then number three, narrow leg squat. So really targeting the quads with this one, working on our form and control. Just a few more seconds, are you ready? And go, starting off with the curtsy lunge. So lunging, but with that crossing over of the leg behind you. So I want you to really focus on keeping the leg that's in front really stable okay so when you go into that lunge the hips go back a bit and um, you don't let that knee of the leg in front come in front of the toes it's all behind you before you squeeze to come back up in the curtsy lunge the way that it's a little bit different is we get that crossover of the leg behind so you're really crossing that leg behind but keeping the chest facing forward keeping good alignment keeping the core tight chest up doing 10 on each leg, counting it through. If you struggle with the curtsy bit, that's absolutely fine. Just do normal lunges, you're still getting in a really good workout and you'll be able to keep your balance. And as I said, it's about quality. So I'd rather you do quality lunges than dodgy curtsy lunges, and that's okay. Just meet yourself where you're at, no judgment. When you've done those, move on to the wide leg squats. Remember though, no rush, go at your own pace. Love me a wide leg squat. So you've got your feet like wide, <laughs> uh, feet turned out, and you want to push the hips back, the chest stays up as the hips go back, going nice and deep and then you squeeze the glutes to come back up, keeping the core nice and tight, intentional mind to muscle connection, so intentionally squeezing. 10 of those before moving on to the narrow leg squat, so feet close together, this is going to really work your quads. Now I don't want you to let your knees fall in front of your toes, that is so so important because it's really easy to let that happen when doing narrow leg squats. If you want to make sure that you don't make this mistake, then try squatting back to sit on a chair behind you or a bench, and that will really help you keep in mind that it's my hips that move back behind me, the weight is through my heels, my chest is up. Okay, now that you know how to do those moves with the right form, I'm going to let you get on with it. You're doing so, so well. I'm really proud of you. Keep going. You've got this.
well done, great job, you did it. Now let's move on to set four for three brand new exercises, starting off with some single leg squats. Now you can do these just freestanding, I'm doing them towards a bench, whichever you prefer, it is up to you, but we are doing 10 on each leg. Then we move on to the second exercise of the fourth set, which are these elevated hip raises. We'll be doing 10 on each leg. This is so, so good for the glutes and the hamstrings. And last but not least, we are doing some slow lower squats. Five reps in total. Are you ready? And go, starting off with the single leg squats. Now feel free to take your time to set up for these. It is just like a normal squat but on one leg, which means that you really need to engage the core to keep your balance. The weight goes through the heel, the hips move back as you sit back. I'm literally doing these to sit onto the bench and then standing up. Uh, and you want to squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads to come up, keeping the chest up all the while. You should be able to wiggle your toes in the foot of the planted, in the yeah, foot of the planted leg. Then once you've done 10, switch over onto the other leg. Keeping good form, breathing through. Once you've done 10 on each leg, let's move on to the mat for some elevated hip raises. Now you want to position your body so that there's around about a 90 degree angle at the knee joint. So you can rest your foot comfortably up on the bench but the legs are at like a 90 degree angle. And then what you want to do is squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstring to lift those hips all the way up so that again the body is in something of a straight line when you look at the knee and the hip and the shoulder in the elevated position. So you're really squeezing all the way up. As you can see, I use my hands as kind of like a goal post to aim for. So if I can lift my hips up all the way to my hands, then I'm pleased with that. So really squeezing the glutes intentionally, keeping good form. This is so, so good for building strong hamstrings and glutes counting out 10 reps on each leg. Going at your own pace, there is no rush in today's workout. And the third move that we will do will be the slow lower squat. So I really want you to take your time with these. So position your squat, um, feet around about shoulder width apart, hips going back, and I want you to just slow everything down as much as you can. These are full depth squats. We're going full time under tension. So I know it feels like, oh, what am I doing? It feels weird, but I want you to go as slowly as you can, especially at the lower position of the squats. You want to lower down nice and slow counting five reps in total and then we're going to loop around on this as we do okay so repeating the three different exercises you know the technique you know how to do this well really pushing yourself but not rushing okay you're pushing not rushing giving it your best keeping good form keep going you are doing so so well
done. You've completed the fourth set. We are nearly at the end of this workout. We're gonna end it with a two minute wall sit. I know, I know it's gonna burn, but I'm doing it right here with you. Are you ready? A few seconds more rest. Get set up in the position and go. So make sure that you are set up correctly. So your back is against the wall, your hips are nice and low so that your thighs are running parallel to the ground. Your shins are perpendicular, we take it back to the last days, perpendicular to the ground. So you've basically got like right angles going on in your legs and at your hip joints, okay? Breathing through. Now, what I love to do to get through movements like this where we've got a static hold is that I just breathe. I take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Now I know when you're sweaty and tired that can feel really difficult, but the truth is you can do whatever you put your mind to. And when it comes to things like this, that is what it's about. You have chose to show up and do this workout to press play. You are powerful. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And so each time you think, my legs feel like jelly, I just wanna quit, know that you can push on. And what I like to do is when I feel like I cannot hold it for any longer I just count to 10 just count to 10 and before you know it you'll have counted to 10 and when you thought you couldn't hold it for any longer you could actually hold it for another count of 10 and that is incredible if you do need to stand up and shake your legs you get straight back into it because you are powerful and you push through and you can do whatever you put your mind to so keep going keep holding you've got this you're doing so well the last 15 seconds of the workout i know it's tough but you're tougher relax well done you did it you've completed day two of the glow up challenge i'm so proud of you goodness me that was tough i'm sweating my legs are shaking but we're gonna finish off the workout by doing a few stretches to cool down okay you've absolutely earned it i am so so proud of you goodness me give yourself give yourself a clap maybe give those quads a slap because they probably need it after all that work all that wall sitting let me know in the comments how you're feeling how did you find it and we'll do some stretches to finish starting off with the cobra so lying against the mat pushing the shoulders away feeling that stretch in the front of the body then we're going to come back down onto the floor as we hold the foot bringing it up towards the glutes feeling that stretch in the front of the thigh so i want you to try and lift that leg up off the ground, so you're lifting that thigh up off the ground as you feel the stretch in the front of the thighs, in the quads, nice deep breaths. Really peeling that thigh up off the ground. And then we're gonna push the hips back into the child's pose position, so feeling the stretch in the shoulders, nice deep breath. Bringing the hips down towards the feet as you reach the fingertips out in front. Nice deep breath in this restful position. And we're just gonna come onto one leg in a lunging position. I want you to squeeze the glutes to push the hips forward and feel that stretch in the quads and then reverse it to feel the stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. So when the leg is straight, you'll feel the stretch through the hamstrings and the calves. Really pressing the chest in and listening to your body as well, like moving through the two positions as you feel. And then switch onto the other leg. So one leg in front, the other leg resting behind. Squeeze the glutes, engage the core, feeling that stretch. the front of the thigh and the front of the body as well and then you push the hips back to straighten out that leg that's in front pointing the toes to the ceiling really feeling a good stretch in the calves and the hamstrings the back of the leg stretching it out 
and again just listening to your body you'll see that I'm moving my hands around moving my wrists around I'm playing around with this this is a cool down okay so I'm just listening to whatever's tightest and I'm leaning into that sometimes that means leaning to one side a bit more holding one position a little bit more and then we're going to turn towards the front legs out to the side in a straddle position reaching out the fingertips in front to really feel that stretch in the inner thighs and the hips and then we'll walk the feet back together into a squat position squatting down feeling that stretch in the hips hands together a nice deep squat stretch this feels so so good after all the work we've been doing and then I want you to slowly straighten the legs bring it back up and you're done well done you've completed today's workout i'm so so proud of you thank you for doing this with me don't forget to let me know how you're getting on i'll see you soon love you so much